So this is a 20-year-old controller called the Space Orb 360. This came out when Quake and Descent and games like that came out. This is an alternative to something that you would ordinarily play with two thumbs. Instead, you pretend like this is your head. You move it up and down, left and right, you twist it forward and backward. It's got six axes, six buttons. This was a fantastic controller, except it only worked in DOS and all those older games. It was a RS-232 serial kind of a deal. And there's a bunch of people who love this. You can find demo units, but uh, I don't think they're made anymore. This is a, just a, it's the greatest controller ever created for first-person shooters, and it's totally under-respected. And this has been sitting in my closet for, for freaking ever. This guy named Vic Putz, who is on a, a board, J. Crow's message board, has created this thing called the Orb Shield. This is an Arduino on the bottom there, an Arduino little microprocessor board, little standard board. And then on top is this Orb Shield, which is a serial to USB HID, a um, hardware input device. This basically makes the space orb look like a mouse and a keyboard or a joystick. Right now I've got it in programming mode, so I'm just going to come over to my machine here and I'm going to use the Arduino tool and say upload. And I'm going to tell this machine to go and be a basic joystick. Now I come back over here and I'll unplug from the programming port. I'm doing this with one hand, so forgive me. Flip this switch here. Plug it back in. All right, you hear pop up, pop up. Suddenly, Windows 7, I'm on 64-bit, says there's a space orb, and it's okay. Now notice this. This is my space orb test properties. I'm going to just bring it to the focus. Left, right, up, down. Multiple axes. I'm twisting and turning multiple buttons. He's actually got all 16 buttons working by using a thing called cording. So if you push this button and that button at the same time, then that's button number five. So he's actually got all 16 buttons working. And XYZ axis and rotation as a joystick. Now this is great if your games support a joystick, but most games don't. So this is where this is brilliant. What he's done I'm going to switch it back into programming mode now. Plug it into the bottom USB port. Forgive me. Maybe I'll edit that part out. Alright, plugged it back in. So now, I'm going to open up another demo. Instead of basic joystick, I'm going to do what he's calling WASD. Remember WAS and D? These are the keys that you use on your keyboard. So now I'm going to tell this Arduino to be a keyboard and mouse. And this is just what's absolutely brilliant. What he's done here, and then we've got uploading it to the board. Rather than doing keyboard bindings and all the kind of stuff where you teach a particular game to be uh, to behave the way you want, you just write these little programs. Very simple. Mouse binding, button mouse binding, keyboard binding. Here's the This maps to this key, this maps to that key. Mostly it's copy-paste. I don't know how to program an Arduino. But I was able to figure it out. So now, unplug it. It's been programmed. We've actually taught this thing now how to behave like a keyboard and a mouse. Switch it again. Plug it in. Up, 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 up. Now, this is hot. Check this out. See my mouse? I'm able to control the mouse with the space orb. I can even see I'm dragging the dragging the window around. This pretends to be a keyboard and mouse. Now here's where that's cool. Again, this is a Windows 7 X64 machine. 30 inch monitor here. I'll bring up Half-Life.
and then we'll just load a game. Notice that I'm not actually having to do any bindings, any keyboard bindings. I'm not having to teach anything about anything. I'm not having to fight with this, which is brilliant. All right. Space orb. There's the chick, Alex. Forward, turn left, look down, look up. It's simulating strafe, look up strafe and turn, circle strafe. It's simulating a mouse and keyboard with the space orb. Absolutely wonderful stuff. If you want one of these, you just have to go and search for orb shield. Orb shield. This is an Arduino shield. You'll get this kit unsoldered. It took me about an hour and a half to solder this. You basically got three resistors, two diodes, a chip, a uh, dip switch, the serial, and the USB. Then you download the free software that Vic Putz has been so kind to put up on the web. And you're going to have yourself a Space Orb 360, 20 year old piece of hardware working fantastically with a nice, fantastic Windows 7, 64 bit, or whatever version of Windows you have. What's so wonderful about it is that it doesn't require any drivers at all. He's literally emulating a keyboard and a mouse. So, thank you, Vic, for making that happen. Wow!